So, All In has confirmed that I was right about Amphibious Red Moon being important. The moon was in the first shot of the series, had accompanied numerous dramatic moments, and my theory from nearly two years ago about it being an important story point was on the money, even if the specific ways I theorized about were incorrect. For example, I thought that the activation of the Calamity Box would be tied to the phase of the moon in an attempt to explain why the box automatically transported the girls to Amphibia when it opened, which is something that still hasn't been explained. Why was it rigged like that as opposed to the other times in the series when opening it does nothing? And what about the Amphibia logo bookcase? Hopefully we get answers to those questions in the final episode, but this video is really an update on my Red Moon theory and what I think will happen in the finale, the hardest thing. Alright, so for those who saw my All In Review stream, we made a bingo card, and that was before Disney dropped the promo spot for The Hardest Thing. And some of the things on here have already been confirmed. Spoilers for The Hardest Thing, but Valeriana cameo? Check! Moon getting teleported? I think so. But these are predictions of things one episode away. What I'm really proud of is realizing that Amphibia's Red Moon was important before Season 2 had even begun airing. That's right, yeah, I just, I just have to relish in the fact that I noticed it. Poster after poster featured this thing. And then when we got to the core in the King and saw it crashing towards Earth and Leaf's vision of the future, and people started revisiting that old video and commenting on how it might be important, thank you so much to everyone who remembered that theory. So, let's theorize once more. What is the moon, and why is it so important? Despite looming over Amphibia in nearly every episode and bathing the landscape in red hues when it's out, we know that it goes through phases just like Earth's moon. Throughout the series, we've seen it on different sides of the crescent, and we know that it's obviously in the sky. Also, we know that in Leaf's vision, it somehow crashes towards Amphibia and potentially destroys Newtopia Castle with it, as well as the entire Frobo army. So why is it crashing towards Amphibia? Well, in my live stream, we discussed how the moon was somehow connected to the core, as the core freaks out in a way that goes far beyond being scared for their own life when Sasha cuts the wires, defeating Darcy. The helmet then scurries off, and it made me think that somehow, the core was keeping Amphibia's moon in orbit, and perhaps giving it its red color. After all, as we see it fall in All In, it's still colored red, and that's interesting because the moon only reflects the light of the sun, and Amphibia's sun is normal. I think before I just chalked it up to red moon dust, but now I'm not really sure. The core could even be responsible for programming the moon's cycles. Looking at the promos released for The Hardest Thing, it appears that the core is controlling the moon through the helmet. But we know that can't be happening at the episode start because the core's helmet couldn't possibly reach the moon. So what is the moon and why would the core be able to control it? I think the moon is the core. To ensure it couldn't be destroyed easily by anyone in Amphibia, the majority of the core's infrastructure is hosted in the moon, including these mechanical snakes that we see in outer space. So here's what I think is going to happen in the hardest thing. Anne, Sasha, and Marcy are going to get powered up by the Calamity Gems and teleport the moon as it crashes back to Earth, putting it back in space. However, before it's sent back to space, the core's helmet jumps on and plugs itself back into its home base, allowing it full access to all its weapons and starting the final battle in space. In this one shot from the promo, you can see the snake crab robot things ready to face off with the powered up Anne, Sasha, and Marcy above the planet of Amphibia. That is some wild stuff. Also, um, hop hop, Amphibia's round. So to sum everything up, my final moon prediction is that the moon is the core's home base. And that's why when the core's consciousness was disconnected from the system, it caused the moon to fall towards Amphibia. And the hardest thing is going to be an all-out war to take out the core in its most powerful form yet. Let me know what you think about the Red Moon Dimension Hoppers. Do you think this theory is right? Or is the moon neutral in this? Be sure to check out my original Red Moon theory video to see how much I got right back then. And I'll see you back in Dimension 1.